Wing from uh, Something Cool News up in Canada. How are you doing tonight, sir? Beautiful. How's it going? Oh, very well. So I want to thank you again for joining us tonight because I know uh, you're quite a busy guy and you've got lots going on there, so I appreciate you giving us a little bit of your Sunday night. Thank you. I'm glad I could. Well, I guess uh, the, first, the place to start is uh, to confirm to our viewers tonight, you are, in fact, a world record holder. Correct. And uh, you are holding the record for being the world's fastest clapper. Yep, the yeah. record is most claps in a minute. Most <laughs> claps in a minute. How many claps was that in a minute, sir? 721. 720 claps in a minute. That's right. Wow. If you do the math, that's 12 claps per second times 16. 12 claps per second. Wow. Um, I, of course, you know, we did an interview with you this past week on Something Cool News, and uh, I thought that was very interesting. Um, and I, we got a chance to learn a little bit more about what you're doing, but why don't you just for the viewing audience, how is it that you became aware of the fact that you had an amazing clapping ability? Well, it, it, I'm a drummer. I do have a degree in music from the University of Wyoming, um, which is probably why I'm a restaurant manager today. That's probably the way that works out. But if you've ever been around a drummer, um, everything's an instrument to the drummer. And the technique, you know, people, I just realized that people basically clap one-handed. They'll take the dominant hand, being usually the right hand, and just clap, move it into the palm of the left hand. So I'm thinking, why not come back with the left hand into the right hand and then because I had fast hands, it was easy to just, like, take the, like, a rhythm that you play on the bongos and then put it up in your hands and play. And then uh, it, it was more or less a party trick for a number of years. And then someone probably said, well, maybe you are the fastest clapper. And so I looked into Guinness, and, and away it went from there. Now, and, and Guinness officially uh, gave you credit for being the fastest clapper in the world. Right. What I wanted to do was just do it for 15 seconds. Because at that speed, that's basically all I was good for. And they got back to me and said, we, we like the idea. It's a new category. What we want is most claps in a minute. And that's the third part of the puzzle is the endurance. I had to practice for about eight months, um, train, if you will, as a clapper, for eight months in order to, this is a new um, record, and I wanted to set that bar as high as possible. So I had to keep, I wanted to keep the same speed for the entire minute. So I had to train a lot, and, and it's a very painful experience to, to wow. clap like that. The last 15 seconds is a, is a painful painful thing, but then set the record, and, and off we went after that. Yeah, I tried it. I want you to know that I was I, I saw your video, and I thought, well, that doesn't look so hard. I can do that, too. Uh, I only got, like, 50 claps in a minute. This uh, makes you huff and puff a little bit. Yeah, I was tired. Like, I was bringing up a sweat, and that was only after a minute, and I felt... Quite honestly, sir, I felt kind of pathetic. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Yeah, people people think it's kind of a goofy thing, but there's there's a little bit of work involved. Yeah, I I mean there must be like is there a diet you have to take to be able to clap that fast? Because I'm telling you, I was I was finished. Like I was in my workout for the whole day right there. Well, I do when I'm when I have a clapping engagement coming up. Like yeah, I've been on a couple big shows and, and I've been overseas. So like in uh, next month I go to Tokyo again. So then that's when I kind of hunker down and watch what I eat, and I'll go running now that it's warming up, and, and I um, do a lot of push-ups, pull-ups, and then I do a lot of clapping. Wow. Now, I mean, I, I, I remember I asked you in the interview uh, that a lot of people said, this is, a, this, is a, this is kind of a cool thing, but it's kind of a useless gift to have. Uh, what is your response to that? Well, I can always hire out as a uh, professional audience. <laughs> Say if someone's not doing well as a performer and they want to kind of make them sound like they're doing well, they just put me in the audience and, and I'll, I'll make them good. I'll, I'll, I'll send them to the top. And then also, like making bubble baths for my kids. Mm. Put my hands down there and get that bubble going. I mean, that's also, <laughs> well, I fill up a whole tub of bubbles in, in 30 seconds. Now, I, I know I... Um, useless talent. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, is, nothing is truly useless, I guess, sir. But... Um, uh, what really intrigued me about this is, like, um, YouTube, of course, is very big, and there were a lot of people that watched your video. Have you gotten any kind of strange responses or any kind of weird reaction to uh, your YouTube video? Well, it, people that know me, when I put that, that video on there, they knew that I was being sarcastic and actually wasn't taking myself very seriously. But people that don't know me, which is the majority of the people watching it, obviously, think I'm very arrogant <laughs> and, and just of myself being the clapper, but it's quite the opposite. And so I got half of mine, half of the responses are, oh, this guy's an arrogant, you know, SOB and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, wow. So, I mean, 
mean, this is my first experience kind of with the blog type of scenario. And that's the, <laughs> you have to have thick skin if you're going to yes. someone blog about you. That's, that's, sure. that's true. I, I, for the record, Kent, I didn't think you were arrogant. I just, you know, was kind of jealous. <laughs> well, thank you. No, there's a couple of re my favorite responses was, um, like, that, it was on that one commercial. I don't know if you've seen it, but someone put on there, it was like, what the French toast? <laughs> I like that one. And then the other one was, um, he's not fast compared to other planets. So <laughs> those are my two favorites. <laughs> well, it's cool to be compared to a planet, I guess. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen to just everybody. That's right. Wow. So uh, what is it like then being this internet celebrity and, you know, having people watch your video and, and uh, uh, kind of be in the, the, the loop, I guess? Well, here in Rapid City, South Dakota, where I live, right next to Mount Rushmore, I am a manager at the Red Lobster here. And, and nightly you get people coming in, hey, is that Clapper guy here? <laughs> then, I, then I have to, I wish I, so wish I owned that restaurant because I go out and, and, and entertain the guys I clap for them when they come in. So, yeah, that would and, be cool. Um, the other part of that is, is, is uh, internationally, we, my wife bought me this laminated map of the earth and we put the blue pins wherever I've been to perform, which includes Tokyo and, and, um, Excuse me, and um, Scotland and England, and then then nationally, you know, I've been Ellen DeGeneres and, and uh, Jimmy Kimmel and uh, um, the Vegas Show, hmm. MTV, things like that. And then <clears throat> we've got orange ones for magazines, article or news articles in newspapers that we know of. Wow. In Barcelona, Spain, Chile, Canada, um, yeah. and then uh, red is for radio, which is crazy all over the place. I've done a lot of radio, New Zealand, Australia, Canada, uh, and then about 60 to 70 uh, domestic radio stations. So useless talent, but it, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a fun <laughs> useless talent. <laughs> wow, I, I, you get more media coverage than I do. That's not fair. I'm going to have to do something about that, sir. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll tour with you. Well, but, hey, it's a good idea. We'll do a road tour together. Uh, that's go. cool. Well, I mean, uh, would you say then that uh, learning to be the world's fastest clapper has changed your life? Well, it, it's a good distraction. You know, I, I have nine children, and that's just the thing. People say I have to get a life, and I, and I have a life, a very busy life. Being a manager, I have nine children, four out of the house already. I have five at home still. Wow. And um, in this, in, then they say, we must have a lot of time on your hands. And actually, <laughs> that was just the, the issue. I only had a minute. And so uh, that's what I got done in a minute. Well, it's, it's more than I get done all day, really. So that's <laughs> that's something to be proud of. Uh, but it's not exactly yeah, a life. I'd say it changed my life. So I had to get a passport. And like I said, I've been overseas, and and I, I got another trip coming up to Tokyo um, next month. So that that's crazy stuff right there. You're going to Tokyo. Tokyo. For what reason? Um, on the TV, just the TV show. I think you know. I think that's my target market is the Asian market because mm. I did a lot of stuff for South Korea too, and I've done. Um, I've been over to Tokyo once, but then I worked with two other television stations where I sent them uh, video footage. And, and the Japanese, and they love that stuff. If you ever watch any Japanese TV like MXC or yeah. Ninja Warrior or uh, something like that. I'm a big fan of MXC. They, so. they, uh, I think that's my target market. <laughs> I, I can see how you do very well there. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, you uh, So it has changed your life a little bit. Yeah, uh, so. not, that's not bad for a manager of Red Lobster, sir. Yeah, I mean, oh, I'll take it. It's, like I say, it's just a good distraction from life, you know. So, uh, real quick, I guess, last question here. I mean, if I wanted to be a world record holder in clapping, I wanted to beat your record, what would your advice for me be? Um, a lot of practice um, and, a, and a lot of coffee. Get, get a favorite <laughs> kind of coffee, and that's the secret ingredient right there. There you go. It doesn't, it, it, it doesn't hurt to be a little... <laughs> well, it works for you, right, sir? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Kent, thank you very much for taking uh, time out of your day to talk with us. If you want to see this video, it's on the archives of somethingcool.ca, and just type in World's Fastest Clapper on YouTube. You know, and just... you, seriously, you're not going to have me clap for you? I'm all warmed up, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, do, do you want to clap? Is that what you're saying? That's, that's always the way we end the interview. Yeah, that's it. Well, uh, you ready? Put in, okay, go ahead. Are we going over time or what? No, go ahead. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, the clapper. Wow.